You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Supernova. Sorry if I sound a little bit out of breath. I just got done running. A little bit of a morning workout. Oh man. But yeah. Let's pick right back up. Last place we left off, we were training with Nisus. And thank you, Nisus is the. Thank you for whoever said Nisus is the Greek word for memory. That's actually pretty clever. Never would have thought about that. Because I don't know a lot of Greek. <laughs> Alrighty, I could just have typed his name into Google. Alright, me being an idiot aside, let's jump right in, shall we? Alright, <clears throat> alarm chain, you're up. Let's go. I'm not gonna let some asshole splatter me if I can help it. Don't worry. Yeah, if they're not holding back, neither should you. I guess I'm hoping to be good enough so I can hold back and not get myself killed at the same time. Templar did that, right? Michael? Yeah, he rarely went all out. I think back to the fight I saw. No way no way he was pulling his punches back there. He couldn't afford to. Not with the way that wolf was attacking. I guess it shows what Nisus means. When a vicious fucker like that is after your life, you can't be worrying about being all delicate. You fight back with all you've got or die. Alright, I'll try. I mean, I'll do my best. Uh-huh. The fox watches as I slide down to sit on the floor with my back to the wall, then joins me himself while taking off his cowl. I examine the folds of his uniform as he does, wondering where he's hidden his weapon. What pistol? Hmm? Which model do you use? Ah, custom Glock 19. Oh, come on! What? That's so basic! Oh, really? What do you even know about guns? <laughs> please! My dad's a vet! He's been dragging me to the shooting range since I was 12! Hell, I may be rusty, but I'd be, but I'd be able to... But I'd... Blah, but I bet I'd be able to outshoot you. Did you not hear what my power is? So you're saying you need your powers to beat me? Hmm. No, I practice plenty on my own. Good, then let's do it. I'll take the opportunity to kick your ass back. Back? I didn't kick your ass. I barely even touched you. Yeah, well, not landing even one punch bruised my ego. Huh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Nisus, I'm joking. Oh, right. Sorry. He sits quiet for a moment, then looks at me with serious eyes. Do you want me to call you Templar? Huh? What do you mean? You keep calling me Nisus, even though you know my name. Oh! I don't know, I guess I feel like you speak to me as Nisus a lot more than you do as Frank. I'm both, Nick. Yeah, I know, it's just, it's hard to explain. Like, the other day when you texted me, I thought you might want to hang out at the park or something, get to know each other. He looks away from me. You know why I'm mad. Yeah, and thanks for worrying about me, I mean it, but I'll be fine, Frank. Okay. Oh, come on. I mean, I get it. People see people see how hot I am and assume I also must be dumb, but I understand what I'm doing, okay? I haven't thought about that at all. That I'm hot? <laughs> that you're dumb. So you have thought that I'm hot. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, ouch, okay. No, all I mean is I just haven't thought about that at all. No, it's fine. I can take this blow. There are plenty of dudes who appreciate what I have to offer. Wait, you're gay? Yes, are you just now realizing that? Uh, yeah. Dude. I burst out laughing. I have pretty oblivious fox. I have a pretty oblivious fox on my hands, don't I? Frank looks on, bemused, and I give him a toothy grin. Now you know, I'm very gay. <laughs> That's cool, I just didn't know. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> now I'm just wondering if the others know. The fox shrugs. Probably, or not, I have no idea. Are you dating anyone? Nah, taking a break from all that. Good. Huh? Why? Oh, just that this superhero stuff isn't great for your dating life. Or so I'm told, at least. Hmm, that might be true, but I'm sure you have tons of people wanting to go out with you. Me? Nah, don't think so. Really now? A good-looking guy like you? And I don't mean that just Nisus persona, either. I don't think about it much, to be honest. Oh yeah? That's cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's all good. The fox grows quiet, and I can tell I've made things a little awkward. Maybe he's just not into the idea of dating. It's none of my business. There are questions gnawing at me, but if we he, but if he doesn't want to share, I'm not going to push it. I think you're pushing into this a little too early. Like, I get trying to break the ice with someone, but man, this is like really go. This is this conversation just really went just deep. <laughs> like, hey, I'm gay, and I think I'm hot. Do you think I'm hot? <laughs> like. Come on, Nick, you're trying a little too hard. Lay back a little bit. 
Okay. There are questions gnawing at me, but if he doesn't want to share, I'm not going to push it. All right, well, should we get back to training? I get up and offer a paw to Frank to pull him off his pull him to his feet. Not tired? What, me? Nah, I've got plenty of stamina. Okay, let's continue with the hand-to-hand -hand stuff for now. So we do just that, just that, although I ditched the armor this time around. We're at it for long enough that even Frank seems to be growing tired, not to mention myself. At this rate, I'll have to start pushing myself much more during my runs. And gym, which I don't go to this week, even though I had been planning to after the last talk with Nisa shot my motivation. But now that we seem to have sorted this mess out, I'm amped up again. I'm gonna shower real quick, although next time I gotta remind myself to bring some spare clothes. Frank gives me an appraising look. You can borrow some of mine. Should be about the right size. True, he's only a couple inches shorter and our builds are comparable, even if he's much more cut. Thanks, that'd be nice. As we head out of the room, he pauses in the doorway and turns to me. Right, forgot to tell you. We each have a little room here, if you need it. Oh, figured that might be the case. Frank nods and gestures to the panel near the elevator door. You should have access to Templars and the rest of the HQ. Isn't that right, Gil? That is correct, Nisus. Hmm, did you guys scan my paw or something? Yeah, the Baron wanted to do a background check. Heh, <laughs> too bad. I have no police record. Well, either way, it's in the system now. Go ahead. I press my paw against the panel. A line of light moves up and down, and then the wall slides up. Lots of security for a secret hideout. If someone managed to get inside, would you want to make it easy for them to get around? Heh, <laughs> no, I suppose not. Is that a concern? Doesn't hurt to be careful. True, I'll keep it in mind. We ride the elevator back up. Mind giving me a tour after we both showered? Sure, I don't need one though, so I'll wait here. <laughs> Frank, you can stop rubbing it in. I I'm not... It's true. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't break a sweat dealing with my ass. Maybe next time you can do a better job. Plus, I don't sweat. He responds with a smug smile to my faint outrage. Okay, he's catching on that I'm being facetious. Damn, it, Vince said you'd be nice to me. Oh, I was. Yes, so gentle. I barely touched you. Maybe therein lies the problem. I snicker at his confused face. Sorry, I'll shut up now. Be right back. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, give me a sec to get you a shirt. Frank disappears down the hallway and returns in less than two minutes, holding a plain black shirt. I take it with a grateful nod. Cool, be right back. I'll be in the meeting room. The shower is a quick affair. As I'm trying to tame my head fur on the way to the meeting room, I run into Vince. Hey there, buddy! Hi, Vince. Your fur is still a bit wet. Hmm? Oh, it's okay. You two done with, you two done with training? Yep, for now. Nisus won't admit it, but I'm pretty sure even he was getting tired. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't get here earlier. All good. Nisus is waiting for me in the meeting room if you want to come. Yeah, sure. Vince goes ahead of me with that bouncy stride of his that makes him look so energized. How did it go? First session, right? Great. I think. Who? Did you get to use the, the armor? I take a look around, then lean in a little closer and whisper. Actually, I gave it a try a couple days ago on my own. But don't tell the others. <laughs> my lips are sealed. Can I see it? Uh, yeah, of course. I'll hold, uh, hold this for a second. As Vince grabs my, my folded shirt, I wink at him and strike a dramatic pose. Red armor, activate! <laughs> he watches with a grin as the armor materializes. Dang, it's awesome! Putting your own spin on the look, eh? <laughs> nah, I, I have no idea how this happened. I thought it looked the same. It suits you! Of course, it is a suit of armor after all. Vince laughs at my stupid joke and I grin back at him, even though he can't see my face. Shit, I am feeling tired though. Even more now after summoning the armor again. I let it fade in the motion for Vince to keep leading the way. Frank is sitting in his chair, tapping away on his phone. Huh, didn't see you come in. Sorry, headed straight to my room to change. Is there a reason you guys wear your uniforms in here? Like, should I be walking around in my armor? Nah, don't worry about it. It's a force of habit, I guess. Feels more appropriate than if we were strolling around in flip-flops, you know? Plus, I wanted to head out into the city after seeing you two. Uh, when can I do that? Nisus, has, who has for, Nisus, who has hidden away his phone by now, squints at me. When you're ready. Well, we can't wait too long, right? Otherwise, people will think Templar's, uh, gone. I gotta make some appearances. People will know you're someone else anyway. Oh, shoot, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, so let them know. They will sooner or later, and I see no reason for it to be later. 
The reason would be to make sure you're not in danger. <laughs> Always be in danger, no? Make sure you're not in the kind of danger you can't handle. I'm not saying I'll pick a fight with some supervillain out of the gate, but what's the harm in stopping a robbery or something? You don't know who might pick a fight with you. I look to Vince for support, but he seems to want no part of this argument. He looks as if he's regretting accompanying me to the meeting room. So then, you expect me to hole up in here until what, exactly? Until I'm some expert on mar martial artist? I... I don't know, Nick. Until I'm sure you can handle yourself out there. I take a deep breath to calm myself down. Okay, whatever. Can you give me a tour of the prison, at least? It's, uh, it's not a... Yeah, yeah, I know. The fox works his jaws. We stare at each other, then nods. All right, have fun, you two. I'm gonna check in with Unbound. Nisus doesn't reply as he stalks out of the room. I wave at the tiger before I follow. As terse as my tour guide is being right now, the tour itself is still interesting enough to distract me from his mood. The base, which to my disappointment hasn't been named, consists of three levels, with the bottom one housing some critical functions in the cave that serves as parking space. The second level is where the training took place, and the hallway has a couple more rooms for the same purpose, with more elaborate props, including some VR sim stuff. Finally, the one most familiar to me by now, apart from the stuff I've already... I've, apart from the stuff I've seen already, there's an elevator that leads to the surface, hidden in a hollow of a tree, a room for data processing in a simple lab. According to Nisus, the former isn't much used, but it's still that handy to have. And Gil constructed all this? Yeah. Come to think of it, Gil, I haven't seen you yet. I only heard your silky voice. I do my best to stay out of the way, Templar. Aw, oh, you don't have to. I'm sure your uh, bodies are beautiful to behold. My task units have functional designs, Templar. They were not meant to be aesthetically pleasing. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, my friend. Hmm. Anyway, here's your room. Ah, we've arrived at Templar's quarters. As the fox points to the panel I meant to press, a knock forms in the pit of my stomach. This wasn't just Templar's room. It was Michael's. I might wear the armor, but the feeling that I'm an intruder hasn't worn off just yet. Still, I press my paw to the surface. The door slides open, and it's pretty much just a normal room. Apart from the lack of windows, it could pass as a generic bedroom in any house or apartment. Let me know if you want any adjustments to be made, Templar. Nisus peeks into the room, eyebrows drawn together in thought. Did you clear it out, Gil? I did, Nisus. Oh, thanks, I guess. Um, it's good enough, Gil. I don't think I'll be staying here much, so it's fine. I have prepared a communications device for you. You can find it on the table. Indeed, there's a small bug-like device with a dull sheen laying there. I pick it up and turn to Nisus, frowning. Put it in your ear. I grunt and nod. Thanks, Nisus. I gathered that much. There's a narrow door leading into a bathroom at the back of the room. Finding a mirror there, I put the device into my right ear, hiding it in the, hiding it in the fluff. It attaches just fine, not falling in even when I shake my head. Nisus stands outside the bathroom, watching me through the open door. Tap the base of your ear twice if you need to use it. I do just that. Gil's voice resounds in my ear. Good afternoon, Templar. Is the device working as intended? Uh, I think so. Uh, wouldn't I need to go outside to test it for real? That would be prudent. You can do that for you can do that later. For now, have Gil con have Gil connect you to one of the others. Yep, Gil, can I have Super Fang, please? After a brief delay, I hear wind noises, which fade as soon as Vince speaks. Hey yo! Hey again! So, wanna prank call the Baron? Nisus lets loose an exasperated growl. That's not a toy, Nick! I wave him off with a grin. <laughs> I'd rather not. But anyway, feel free to talk to me whenever you need. Sweet! Thanks. I'll stop bothering you now. Talk to you later! How do I turn it off? Just tap your ear twice again. Again, I do, and the device goes silent. Sweet! I guess I'm officially on call as a superhero now. Yeah, sure. Well, that's it for today. Sounds good. I think I'll drive home now. Unless you wanted something? I consider offering to hang out again, but I have a feeling I'm going to get rejected. No. No, I don't think so. I'll be staying here. I'm up for more training tomorrow. Good. Okay, see you then. Yeah, see ya. Stay safe. I'm already riding the elevator down into the cave when I hear Nisus' voice coming from inside my ear. Forgot to mention that there's another tunnel leading into the city. Ask Gil about it. We'll be quicker. Oh, I'll do that, thanks. Alright, bye. Yeah, bye. I chuckled to myself, then do as Nisus said. Indeed, there is another tunnel deeper into the cave, and it goes all the way to a parking lot on, Macmill on Macmillan Avenue. Reminds me of the uh, underground tunnel from Crackdown. <laughs> Not all that close to my college, but League's better than taking the other road. 
All I need is to wait for Gil's confirmation that the coast is clear, and soon enough I'm riding through downtown. Man, I'm tired. I need a nap pronto. Ah, there we go. Dinner after nap. I have some reading to do after over spring break, but that can wait. I should take some time during the week to scout out the college grounds for takeoff and landing spots. I'm gonna tell Nisus I want to practice flying, too. The training room isn't cramped, but for the best experience, I'll need to go up into Salisford Park. Should be fine as long as Gail tells me nobody's around to see me smacking into trees. Hmm. It would be nice to learn more about the bracelet, too, but I don't want to bother Mrs. O'Connor. I doubt she needs reminders like this at the moment. Who are you, Mr. Who are you, Mr. Spear Warrior? Maybe digging a bit through the anthropology department's library could help. I've got lots to do, haven't I? Who? Who? Okay. Nice. The Sunday training is a little tense, but otherwise uneventful. Nisus runs me through some basic hand-to-hand -hand drills, both in armor and without it. I don't bring up any of the touchy topics from yesterday, and he doesn't get mad at me. To my suggestion regarding flying practice, he offers that I should do it one of the days when he's busy. With none of the other sentinels showing up all day, and no touring of the place to be done, I leave earlier than yesterday. I could stand to hang out with friends a little, something I haven't done pretty much all at all since coming back from my hospital stay. At the same time, it would feel so weird now. There's been this monumental change in my life, and they have not a clue. Unless I spill the beans, which would just endanger them, the Sentinels are the only ones I have to th I can't I can have a talk with about the superhero stuff. Speaking of which, I never got to plan a hangout with Vince. I'd like to get to know him better, and Frank, if he offered to do something together outside the HQ. Unbound is interesting too, if unnerving. Hell, I'd even like to learn more about the Baron. The real him, not the stuff written on the internet. I just wish Frank would offer to hang out himself, but I'm getting the feeling that he won't. Might might have to take things into my own paws. Just gotta make sure I attempt it when he's not actively mad at me. For now, I use the free time I have to scout the college grounds. Grifton's campus is pretty small, nestled in the city as it is. This means that there are more cramped, alley cramped alleys between buildings that I could use. Probably better if it's one of the roofs. The stairway to my dorm is usually open, although it worries me that it's not the tallest building around. Then again, if I have to run from my room to the science building, take the elevator all the way up, then get in onto the roof from the there, I'd be wasting a lot of time. For now, I'd settle on the little passage between another dorm and building in the political science department. Dark, narrow, and just tall enough that I can fly straight up and be out of sight before anyone's had a chance to see more than a flash of red. On the way back to the dorm, I run into Jess. Hey! Hey, Nick. What are you skulking around for? Skulking around? I was just at the library. <laughs> all right, all right. I haven't seen you much lately. What's up with that? Ashley and I were going to go go to the beach. Want to come? Nope. We're not, we're not going swimming. You can hang out. Hmm. <laughs> Still not today. Blinks rolls her eyes at me. Jeez, Nick, since when are we so studious? Oh, you are going to give me shit for studying too much, nerd. <laughs> Touche. Will I see you on Wednesday at least? What's happening on Wednesday? Party at James. Hmm. Nah, not this time, I think. Jessica squints at me, suspicion plain on her face. Are you dating someone again? What? No! Spill the beans, Saunders. Who is it? I'm not dating anyone. I'm just busy, okay? We're almost done with junior year, and I need to get my shit together. Uh-huh, if you say so. I gotta run. Make sure we hang out at least once during the break. Got it? <laughs> yeah, I will. See ya. See ya. You guys keep setting me up for this. What do you expect I'm gonna do? For once, I get some studying done, even if the idea of resuming classes next week is making me antsy. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to just stay over at the HQ for a couple days. Train in the morning with Frank, rest for a bit, then train again, with it, with or without the fox. I wish the idea of sleeping in Templar's quarters didn't fill me with such unease. Okay, Nick, get over it. And focus on the book. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Nice. The next day's training with Nisus is uneventful, but I'm surprised when Gil says Unbound wants to speak with me after we're done. I haven't seen her or the Baron since the funeral, but now they're both here and I can't help but feel nervous. Good afternoon, Nick. Uh, afternoon, Unbound. Baron. The rat tilts his helmet slightly. Anything I can help with? Gil has found a little something that you need to take a look at. Frowning, I follow him to one of the screens on the wall. It's showing a low-resolution video recording of some kind. The view, of is of a, the view is of a street I'm not familiar with. The Baron leans forward, pressing some buttons below the monitor, and the video pauses. He points to the corner of the screen. That right there. I squint and lean in closer, staring at the distorted image. There's a black speck in the sky where the Baron is pointing. 
As I stare at it, I realize it has a distinct green outline. He yeah, I think that's him. When was this taken? Same day as you saw him, around 4.34 p.m. near the docks. I gulp, nodding. For what I remember, that's about 10 to 15 minutes before Templar crashed onto the condo. That's a pretty long way from Magnolia Hills. Indeed. This still doesn't tell us when or where the fight started, but it seems it went on for some time. I absentmindedly tap my ear. Didn't Templar contact you guys as soon as it began? He didn't. Uh, huh? Oh, that's weird. Gil, what time did Templar contact us? 4.47 p.m. unbound. That was already from the condo, right? Yes. I blink at the screen, staring at the indistinct speck that sends shivers down my spine. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!